get into the TV license and um, and you know what tolls as well for uh, when you pass a toll road so men and women don't require a license for anything so therefore you don't need a TV license usually you'll get some letter in the door that will have a surname on it but the surname isn't yours the sooner you just cut that surname off and away from yourself the better because again it's owned by the state copyrighted by the Vatican when you identify with that then you're representing the debtor and uh, yeah you're going to get hit with all the duties debts and obligations for carrying their surname which isn't yours so you always want to go by your Christian name which is your given name it's a Christian name but they try to kick God out of everything and they call it a given name now it's two names on your birth certificate given name and the surname the given name is yours gift from God the surname is the serpents and through our own ignorance when we come of age and we register and enter into the system we make the mistake that we merge our given name with the surname it creates a legal title and then the system has jurisdiction over that and then in turn you because you don't know any of this they, they don't teach you any of this stuff but you don't require a TV license if an inspector comes to the door uh, just ask them where can you show me where I have a contract with you which you don't have any contract they're usually just fucking plebs anyway they haven't a clue what you're talking about tell them to get off your property you're trespassing and um, they won't come back again but I'm gonna put a sample at the end of this video if you get any letters out it's usually addressed to the surname person or it has resident you're not a resident you're not a resident so uh, I'll put a sample at the end same thing can be used for it can be used for anything really um but uh, I wouldn't do it for bills or anything like that because you know you, if you've made any contracts as the person you have to deal with it as the person but if they're coming after you for stuff like uh, fines and shit like this you don't have to pay that it's uh, what's lawful and legal are two different things the legal system is legal is the lawful system which the system knows is the only actual true laws the ten commandments comes from the bible i know people you know want to just shun the bible completely but um all these people are they're all satanists all these elitists the freemasons everything and they know all of this the, the thing that i'm going to show you at the end of this video how to deal with it when it comes in the post all their kids get taught all this as well you're just seen as a commoner a little pleb that they'll exploit and make money off so i'm just going to keep exposing this more and more for free don't have any bank account i'd never ask people for money shut down my bank account because i don't need to uh be fucking charged just to live or have my money resting in an account uh the other thing as well is tolls at a toll road if you come up to a toll boot you don't have to pay that either men and women don't have to pay toll that road was built by man so you can't charge man they charge the persons but people don't know any of this so you as a man go up there tell them you've no money lift the barrier they'll usually start arguing and make you know oh you're gonna have to get somebody down here just tell them okay you're not lifting the barrier that's unlawful detention that's 10 years in prison i'm just gonna call the cops usually straight away they'll come out with a clipboard ask you to fill it all out you can write all the person's details on there as soon as it comes to the house return to sender it'll be what i'm going to show you now at the end of this video but this is just a uh, a quick summary of some stuff that the system makes you believe that you need that you actually don't planning permission also is another one you don't need planning permission uh, men and women don't require planning permission whatsoever the council will send out some bullshit little documents to say oh that's illegal you didn't get permission again if you watch the last video the documents are all fraudulent all false i've explained it in the last video you can write all over that in red all of their mistakes send it back and i guarantee you won't hear a word as i've said i stated previously i got myself off the register by doing it the four corner rule with the boxes and um i've gotten people close to me off of getting uh jury duty got them out of that as well never heard anything back court case date and all went by they never heard anything never got any fines nothing same goes for if you get a parking fine always respond to things that you get in the post within three days by the way uh take your parking fine walk straight into the council and say uh i'm an honorable man you have to act in honor and uh, and peace and respect as the man just walk in hand it into them just say here as an honorable man there you go I, i'm not going to be contracting but thanks anyway and then just walk out and again if anything gets sent out in the post just send them this
Also, one thing I forgot to mention about the planning permission is the reason why men and women don't require planning permission is because if you look at the book of Genesis in the Bible, it says God granted man dominion over the land, air and water, L-A-W. It's a trust law system, God's law, the Ten Commandments. That's the only true law. Don't cause hurt, loss, damage or trickery to your fellow man or the property. Don't kill, don't steal. That's the only real true law. All the legalese stuff that applies to persons doesn't apply to men or women. But uh, yeah, God granted man dominion over the land. He didn't grant persons, humans, individuals, residents, citizens, civilians. He didn't grant that to any of those entities. He granted it to man. So this is why it's very important to know who you are.